Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It is just Meg and I just have to apologize in advance for saying that I was gonna make more videos and I didn't because this year has been so crazy. I honestly have just I've been catching up with myself lately. So today is Sunday. Last Sunday was my last day at work, which is because I absolutely love the place. I just needed to crack down on my studies and I've got 10 weeks left of my degree. So that is definitely a good excuse for not making videos. Study, work 24 seven, just has been crazy. But today I am making a video for you with, uh, as you can see, there's lots of books down there. I'm just gonna go through all of my creative books that help inspire me to be more creative, or just positive. And being an art student it does get pretty hard at some times thinking of what to draw or just being creative in general and hopefully these books can help you and 80% of them I bought from this website which I will link down below and probably about 20% have been gifts or from somewhere else. So I'm just going to start with the all too familiar colouring in book. I know that a lot of you would have seen these already. So I've got a few of these. This one here was my uh, friend was a gift from a friend, just the colouring in pages, colouring in books are just really good to relieve anxiety because you have to concentrate on the picture and colour it in and everything. This is from a Book Depository, I, I, it is uh, Kiwi Rosanna's, so sketchy stories. This is really good, I haven't coloured in any of these pages yet because I don't want to ruin the book. And what if I want to colour it in something different another time? So this is Lost Ocean. These books are from uh, Johanna Basford. She, this is, these are probably what started my addiction with colouring in. Haven't coloured in anything in there either. This one. These are really good. This one is probably my favourite because the pages are slightly tinted yellow so the colour comes out way better. This is uh, her other book I have. And she's got two more out which is The Christmas and The Magical Jungle. I yeah, Magical Jungle but I haven't got either of those yet. I will but adding to my collection of uncolored coloring in books might be a problem. This here is a pocket size coloring in book which I got for Christmas from my friend once. This can just go in your bag and if you've got some coloring in pencils you can just on your break at work or something just color it in. Now these books that I have are called Doodling 4 and there's a whole ton of them and they're done by Gemma Corral. They're basically, I guess you could call them coloring in books but they're not really, they're more activity books and these are, she is an amazing artist and she definitely inspires me. So the two ones that I got is Doodling for Cat People very good. Doodling for tree huggers. Now this is a really good one. And basically she does, the book is full with little doodles of things that to take on wherever, um, drawings, how to draw, um, activities to complete, and quizzes. So the book is just full of so many good ideas and probably Doodling for Cat People must be my favourite so far. Um, let's just see. For example, she has pictures that she's started off and then you kind of finish off yourself. So design some fabulous outfits for these kitties and then she kind of does them herself. So for example, there we go. They're so cute. I honestly love her drawing so much. She is a huge inspiration to me and getting a book that your artist has made, your favourite illustrator has made, definitely helps. Which I will move on to. Fran Manessis, Franerd, she is my favourite illustrator of all time and I bought her book from her Etsy shop and this is another great way just to have, um, it's not, to me it inspires me because I look at the way that she's done her pictures and everything and her, let's just go one page, see, just, oh. honestly looking at her drawings every day it just makes me really happy, I'll flick open the book and I'll just see how she's done things and I use her as a huge inspiration. She has definitely drive my practice to 
to date, I guess. Also, another one of my favourite artists is Carl Quasney, also known as Mono. He illustrated Jason Siegel and um, Kirsten Miller's book Nightmares 1 and 2. I think he's working on the third one, I'm not sure. He is honestly my favourite my favourite illustrator and if you have a favourite illustrator that has illustrated for novels like this then I encourage you to get them out and it is just, I, I love this book so much just because the writing is really good but also when I go through the book I get to see all his pictures so let's just find one picture and where is another one, this one I'll show you I love the illustrations in this book. He obviously did the front cover as well. And when I read these books, I also imagine myself having um, in the future being commissioned to, you know, to do projects like this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna move on to Kerry Smith's books that I have. You guys probably will know who Kerry Smith is once I show you this one book that we all, I'm sure we all have in our as uh, bookshelf or maybe one or two or three or four. So this, if you do not have this book then I highly suggest you get it because this book honestly, I've been saying honestly quite a lot, this book really inspires you. So the whole, whole idea of the book is to wreck it and make it your own and just forget about the perfect state that the book was once in because it is going to get absolutely, so I'll show you a couple of my favourite pages that I've done. So this is so this is cover this page with office supplies only. If you watch one of my previous videos, it is a tutorial on how to start snail mail writing. And I used to write quite a lot, but I've stopped just because today, this year has just been quite insane. But I saved up the uh, book stamps, and this is collect stamps of all your mail, and I have, and it's not all my mail, this would be completely full if I did. This is a, another book that I absolutely love, I can't get enough of. Uh, this is a huge inspiration, this is from Kerry Smith as well. So I found this in the storeroom at my art school and I decided to get it because it spoke to me. So this book is another, kind of just teaching you how to get outside and see the world as it is. For example, uh, crack going out and s outside and Cracks, map out pavement cracks in your neighbourhood. So yeah, you know, just this artist is trying to keep people away from their screens and really get in touch with nature and that. And then at the back of the book is kind of just space to write and do your own thing. So this is a really good idea if you want to get inspired. This book is called The Book of Doing. This book is a very very, I can't, I can't fret how much this book really has helped me. This book is, um, because at the moment for my exhibition, I am trying to create a book about creativity and positivity and just getting ideas out of my head and stuff. And this book really tries to get you to do that. So throughout this book, it gives you crafts, ideas of crafts to do, recipes to take, uh, for example, let's just flip to a random page. Smile at a stranger every day, isn't that cute? Or make a cocktail or a mocktail. So this is very inspiring and I really highly suggest you get it because when I was looking at the book, I couldn't find a lot a lot on the book. I guess I just, I don't know. I, I ne had never heard of the book until I kind of bought it and then I wanted to see what it was like for myself. So. Steal Like an Artist journal. The original one was just Steal Like an Artist and the author Austin Cleon encourages you to not imitate artists but take take examples from them, learn from them but not copy them. For example, good theft versus bad theft. You Good theft is honour, study, steal from many, credit, transform and remit. Bad theft is degrade, skim, steal from one, plagiarize, imitate, and rip off. So I always had a, uh, this book has probably really helped me step out of my comfort zone because when I started doing art, I was worried about drawing things from other artists and not being original, but that's how you learn. You learn by watching, you learn by uh, creating from others because you can't just 
unless you're super smart, you can't just think of things. Well, I, I can't, that's what I can't. But I've learned a lot from other artists and learned the right way to do it. So this book definitely helps you step out of the comfort zone and, and there are so many prompts in here, so many different ones. I think my favorite one that I have found so far is, so Tip Jar Wars. And basically he's taken the idea of people with tip jars that you see in cool cafes that say something's versus something. So yeah, just, just quick examples like that. And this is probably my number one recommendation if you wanted to step out of your comfort zone and just try new things. This is very, very good. So I'm just gonna quickly speed up because I've only got a few more books to go and this video is pro probably gonna be very long and I do apologize. Okay. I lied when I said the Steal Like an Artist journal was the number one. If you do not have this, Drawing on the Right Side of the Brain book, then I didn't have it before, but every good artist should have this book in their shelf because let's just say you're drawing a picture of a beer bottle. You're drawing it how it is, right? And then you do your thing. But if you draw the picture, if you turn the picture upside down and then you draw it that way, then your brain kind of like draws it right and then that upside down picture, that picture that you drew upside down will probably look better than the original one. This is uh, just teaching you so many techniques I've just started drawing. So if you're not even a drawer, even if you don't draw and you want to learn how to draw, this is the best book and it is very cheap on Book Deposit Tree. I found it in a bookstore once for $42 and I bought it online for $24 plus free shipping so and I would have got the good sales. This book was from my mum for Christmas. Uh, the complete book of drawing. I haven't used it yet just because um, it, it's it's there for me when I feel like I need to go back to basics and just draw, draw and, Sometimes I just forget how to draw somehow. I, even though I've been studying art for five years, this book is a lifesaver. So there's lots of human anatomy. There's lots of landscape. And like I said, back to basics. It is just, it is a very, it's a very thick book. And I, not sure if you can get up uh, you probably can get it on book depository book depository has just billions millions tons or trillions of books now this book is very cheap on book depository as well i found it in the stores for about 40 dollars plus and i got it for 26 dollars it is a hardcover book it's a self-help book i've just started reading it and it is basically teaching if you have a really cool idea and you want to make it happen it helps you make it happen and don't it, it encourages you it encourages you not to drop the idea just because you think somebody else has already done it. Get it? It's good. Read the blurb. Okay, I only have four books left. A these two books. If you if you are a writer or even if you just want to get some ideas out on paper, these books. So 712 more things to write about and 642 tiny things to write about. So I got this because it has a whole ton of um, prompts so let's just say you, so you write it gives you writing prompts and you finish it up so you are the first human to land on an alien planet what do you see what is the first thing you want to ask the aliens about their world and then you go down and then so maybe you could just do one a day keep the creativity up so this is quite a big book and I decided to get the smaller version just so I can have it in my bag if I want to carry it around, get inspired. Hmm, let's see. Best snack food of the past century. Best snack food of the future. Invent a new beverage and name it. So I think I've only done one, um, one prompt. So as you can see, one prompt. Uh, describe impure thoughts. And then I said impure thoughts could be seen as doubting oneself, thinking less of what you are worth. The opposite of pure. Impure thoughts could include the thought of hurting oneself or others. Nothing good comes from impure thoughts. See? And I don't know, I just, I, I like writing and these are really good, really helpful. Last two books that I, I think help inspire or are very creative. How to tell if your cat is plotting to kill you. So if you've seen a lot of these online, people are just like this. I know the cats are in the background looking at all the evil and stuff. Comes with a free poster. 
um, just it's basically a cartoon strip book, absolutely hilarious. And the oatmeal, if you don't follow them on Facebook, I think you should because they're very creative and they are just very funny. They also have some card games. And Graffiti Paris. These guys are really good. Um, I've had this book for a really long time. They, these people have just basically gone through the streets of Pali and taken photos of some really cool graffiti. And at the back is a um, translation of all the French words that they've put in the book. So thank you for watching this video everyone and I hope you enjoyed. Sorry it was a little bit long but I had a lot of books to get through and I really wanted you to see all of them because they really do help me out and books are just a really great way to help inspire you because they're there on your desk, your work desk, or whatever and you can just reach over and grab them because I'll be sitting at my desk and I'll be studying and I'll just grab a book and yeah just do an activity out of them each day and it really really helps. So I hope that they help you too and let me know if you do get any books from Book Depository because it is free shipping and I have looked everywhere. I've looked in stores and I'm not getting sponsored for this but I, I think it is a bit of a steal. It is honestly the best website you could possibly find if you want to save money on books and I've I try and tell everyone about it because it's so great. So yeah, thank you for watching and if you like this video, I am very bad at keeping to a schedule but I do like making videos so so please comment on this video if you enjoyed it and give it a thumbs up and I will be seeing you in the next video. Peace out.